Yo, what is up everybody, Rex and Chilada here, and I have not been able to narrate this battle. I don't know why. It's not even the battle part. It's just I haven't been able to speak and get my words out. So this is going to be the last one. I don't care. It's going to go up anyway. I don't care how it turns out. So looking at my opponent's team, my opponent, by the way, is a good friend of mine. His name is Jet. Well, his internet name is Jet. And um, yeah, looking at his team, at the time, I thought it was a Tailwind team. So what I'm going to do is try to counteract his Tailwind with my Bronzong because my Bronzong is especially defensive and it has Trick Room. So if I get Trick Room up while he has Tailwind up, then that will be good for me. Or if I just get Trick Room up in general, he will not be able to go for the Tailwind. So without any further ado, let's just get into this battle. So Jet decides to leave with Cobalion and I'm going to leave with my Bronzong. And then I'm just going to immediately double out the Pharaoh. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. I have actually no idea why I did that. But this triple switch out to Gengar's because Pharaoh's a uh, steel type and he's a fighting type and I don't want to take a fighting type move. So I'm going to go out to Gengar and then here, knowing that uh, he's probably going to expect me to go for the focus blast, I'm going to go for the sub. And what that means is I have a free sub on his Polytoad. And so now that I'm behind sub, I don't have to worry about anything. I'm just going to go for a sludge bomb just to see how much damage it does. It does 37 to 40%. So... I don't really know because that to me that does too much for this Polytoad to be specially defensive but then it does too little for it to be physically defensive so I'm kind of confused so I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball probably expecting him to bring in Cobalion being the Steel type that it is or even Tentacruel just expecting him to switch out but instead he goes for the Parasong and then goes for the Protect so I'm just gonna switch out even though I have two turns left out to my Pharaoh and he also is going to switch out but this man is going to predict my switch and go out to Cobalion wow Jet, stop, stop over predicting. So here, I'm gonna predict him to just wanna go for the Volt Switch as last time I brought in Gengar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go for T-Wave. But I forgot that my Ferro had a Red Guard, so I didn't get to T-Wave when I wanted. But it doesn't matter because I T-Wave the Tentacruel, which means it is no longer a threat in its rapid spinning, rapid spinning capabilities because it should he choose Rapid Spin, he will die because he is slower. So I can always get up rocks one turn and the same turn he'll spin, but he'll end up dying because of Iron Barbs. So yes, that happens. So he's just going to go out to his Tornadus and just fire off a Hurricane. That does a hell of a lot, but I live. Get off a Leech Seed. And then he's going to switch out of Co uh, not of Cobalion. He's going to switch out his Tornadus and go into Cobalion. And I'm going to switch out and go into Bronzong. Then on the next turn, he's going to go for the Thunder Wave. And I'm just going to go for the Stealth Rocks. And here he's going to go for the Volt Switch. And I <sighs> hate to say this, but this is going to be a long exchange right here. So I'm just going to go for the Trick Room. And now that I'm in Trick Room, I was going to say behind Trick Room. Now that I'm in Trick Room, I can just start fighting off Psychics on this Tentacruel. I know especially defensive, but it still is a 3 hit KO, and that's not bad. So here he shows me that he is the sub Toxic set, which is annoying because now it just went from a 3 hit KO to, I don't know, just keep pressing Psychic until eventually it dies. Unfortunately, I get paralyzed here. Fortunately, he also gets paralyzed here, which means that... It was a dead turn. I mean, I wasted a turn of Trick Room, but I can live with that thing as he didn't get to get off any damage. So I'm going to go for the Psychic, and he's going to get paralyzed again, which is good for me, except for the fact that it doesn't really change anything, because I'm going to get paralyzed as he gets off the Rapid Spin. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. So here we've just been playing Paralysis Tag, like he's going to get paralyzed and I'm going to get paralyzed. But here he's going to go for the Scald as I go for the Trick Room again, but it doesn't matter because I get paralyzed. So I'm like, oh, okay, two turns in a row. The paralysis is even now. That's cool. So I'm just going to go for another trick room just because I want to get my uh, my trick room up. I want to be able to sweep stuff. But no, I'm going to get paralyzed a second. Uh, not a second time, a third time. And here he's going to go for the U-turn. I'm just going to stay in. He has his thunder sand. What I'm going to do is go for the rocks because I know this thing can't do anything to me. But I'm going to get paralyzed for a fourth time. Is anyone seeing a pattern here? A pattern is progressing. The pattern is me getting paralyzed over and over and over again. He's gonna go for his guard. I'm gonna get paralyzed. That's five times in a row. When will this stop? Can someone please let me know when I will stop getting paralyzed? So here, I finally get to go for something. I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Finally. Finally get to go for Stealth Rocks. Even though my Bronzong is like half dead now and Bronzong has no recovery. So I'm just gonna keep this in. I'm just gonna go for a Trick Room on my very last turn. Then I'm just going to fire off a Psychic, and hopefully something is going to take some damage. Okay, I did not fire off a Psychic. Oh, okay, I know. I, I know my plan. I'm going to fire off my Ferrothorn here so I can get a safe switch out to my Rampardos. 
because at this because this way I can destroy something with a head smash. But what I'm gonna do is when I bring in my Rampardos, I'm gonna go for Crunch first. But he's gonna protect. So I expected him to I don't know why I went for Crunch. I just didn't want to miss head smash. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna make a dumb play and I'm gonna go for the crunch again as it brings in his Cobalion. And so he gets the justified boost, but knowing that he has a fighting type and knowing that he does have the justified boost, I'm going to stay in, make a risky play, expect him to expect me to switch out and go for the bull twitch. So I'm gonna go for the rock polish, and that is indeed what happens. So on the last turn of trick room, I'm gonna go for rock polish. Next turn, I'm gonna have two times speed. He switched out to Polytoad. And I'm about to hit something with a head smash, and unless I miss, something is hopefully gonna die. And it's this Polytoad that dies. Honestly, I expected this to do about 50%, but it just straight up destroys this Polytoad. Like, Rampardos, you're in you. Calm down. Stop O-going stuff in OU. That's not what you do. And my phone's ringing. So, anyway, sorry about that. I just picked up the phone. I didn't even answer it. But even at 2 times speed, I'm not fast enough to outpace a lot Tias. So what I'm gonna do is go into my hair cross and knowing the Mega Horn is so obvious and Cobelion four times resist that, I'm gonna go for the close combat and just destroy this Cobelion's life. Like bye, adios, hasta luego, nos vemos. And this is gonna bring in this tentacruel and this is going to scare me out because I have this special defense drive and I cannot touch it. So I'm gonna go out to Bronze I'm hoping that he goes for the rapid spin. But no, he just goes straight for the skull, not messing around with a threat that would have been the hair cross even though he could have got the free rapid spin there and seeing guys my bronze hung without low health and paralyzed he's fast he could have just taken it out next turn but anyway i'm just gonna go for the psychic wow that that came out very mumbled i'm just going to go for the psychic he does not get paralyzed or he does not miss rapid spin so he does get his spin off but he does get two hate KO'd by the psychic so that's i guess good and yeah, at this point, it's looking that like my hair cross can sweep up because can finish up because I do have Stone Age. So I'm just gonna fight off my Gengar because I kind of want to keep my Landorus around for later because it can do work should hair cross fail and uh, Gengar can't do really anything because it's gonna get out of bed and KO'd immediately. So I'm gonna go for the Stone Age and I'm gonna miss. That miss was influential because this is what could have happened if I hit the Stone Age. I would have hit the Stone Edge, killed Tornadus. He would have went out to Latias. I would have stayed in with the Stone Edge again, expecting him to switch out and go to Thunderous. If he did do that, then his Thunderous would have died, and then I could have switched out to Landorus, came back in to Heracross, hit something, or let Landorus die, hit Latias with a Mega Horn. That would have been the end of the game. Or if he did stay in with Latias, I could have just hit that. I could have survived, maybe. Okay, I probably couldn't have survived the Psychic. But what could have happened is if he would have stayed in with Latias, he would have ended up winning because my landers could not touch Latias. But none of that do we get to see happen because I missed the Stone Edge. So yeah, there's a 3-0 victory in his favor. It was a really close game. And that 3-0 is like, it's not like a 3-0 like, oh, she got destroyed. It's 3-0 and, oh, you missed the move and you lost. But anyway, that is that game. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching it. And remember, you are a rose in a field of daisies. Deuces.